News that a security guard at a school in Churras has prior convictions for outraging modesty and snatch theft has opened up a can of worms, said an education activist. What has made the matter even more disturbing, said Parent Action Group for Education Chairman Nor Azima Abdul Rahim, was that the security guard has been revealed as the main suspect in a murder case. Although the investigation is still underway, Nor Azima questioned how the suspect was employed as a school security guard despite his criminal record. As parents, we would trust that background checks are conducted on security companies and their personnel, she told FMT. This incident opens a can of worms about ancillary support staff in schools and the Education Ministry's verification checks. Police reportedly arrested the security guard after the charred body of a female bookshop supervisor was discovered following a recent fire at a secondary school in Bandar Tun Raza where they both worked. Kuala Lumpur Police Chief Azmi Abu Qasim has since revealed that the security guard, who had been working at the school for two years, has four previous convictions, among them for outraging modesty and snatch theft. According to Ramli Yusuf, president of the Malaysian Security Industry Association, the umbrella body for security firms, the matter was being investigated. He said while it was the Education Ministry that awarded contracts to security firms, the latter held a responsibility to vet the guards they employed. Ramli, a former director of the Police Commercial Crime Investigation Department, said security firms and their guards cannot operate without clearance from the Home Ministry.